but it's not a simple job. It's definitely not easy, but that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to help others. Sergeant Courtney Fink comes to this apartment building in South Phoenix whenever she can. She loves the people who live here, though she doesn't know their names or really speak their language. Hi, how are you? And still feels a connection to a little boy who might only be here because she was in the right place at the right time. About a month earlier, while driving by on an unrelated call, Sergeant Fink saw this group of people panicking around a baby. They had said something about they were trying to feed him, and during feeding, he quit breathing. And I ask her how old he is, and she tells me he's three days old. Sergeant Fink doesn't have a medical background, but she is a mom herself, and maternal instinct took over. Front chest rubs and some sternum rubs, some soft stuff, and just kind of... Um, rolling him back and forth to sort of loosen up whatever was going on. Where's mama? Mama, hold him. And then he sneezed. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Another one. Okay. And then I knew our airway was clear. With what I was presented with, which is like the scariest thing a human can deal with is a baby that's not breathing. Uh, best sound ever. But it meant he was probably going to be okay. You look so good. And it's why she keeps coming back. These things don't happen every day, which is what makes the next part of this story so unique. You can see it's hard to get through here. There's a lot of pedestrian traffic. Because just a few days later, while driving through the shopping center, it happened again. This time, a toddler having a seizure inside a department store. The minute I saw the guy run out and waving his arms at me, I was like, here we go again. OK, you got this. Deep breaths. Let's go. And despite the commotion, Sergeant Fink remembered what to do from a previous career. I was a 911 operator for Phoenix Police right out of college. And I remember taking these types of calls before, and I was always very curious. Since they went right to the fire department, they were fielded by them. And I remember them talking about taking the diaper off and cooling the core and the armpits and the body and the feet and the neck. Quick thinking helps bring the child's temperature down. Okay. He'll be okay. And after paramedics took over, Sergeant Fink just happens to run into the man who waved down her patrol car. See, you're meant to be here, right? right? I know, right? Yeah. We both were. We both were. Yes, sir. It's possible in both instances the outcome would be the same if Sergeant Fink hadn't been driving by. But thankfully, We'll never have to find out. We all do the same thing every day. We're going to calls, we get flagged down. We immediately act. You know, everyone's trying to get somewhere else. People drive away, people are running out of the store, people are leaving. Well, we go in.